how is everyone doing? <coughs> I did a video today outside. It's so beautiful today. And I'm in a better mood, better spirits. <sighs> Thing is, yesterday just was horrible. More than one way. I was in my own mind. I just threw myself to the point of more depression and then there was a fight. I met argument. But it just confirmed that I need to get out of North Carolina pretty much. I want a better life for me. And I got paid today so I get to do the trip. I'm just waiting on a response back for from a friend. <clears throat> we shall see. If not, I can make that trip. I can go ahead and get the tickets, maybe. Or I could save up until my next check. Because right now, I do need money to do certain things with right now. So, I'm figuring that out now because I have to buy my birth control. I don't, this is what I think about birth control. I don't think any woman should be, should pay for birth control. Birth control can save someone's life when they need it. It saved mine. So, I don't think woman, women should be paying for birth control. It's just me. Or is it just a thing? I am a little bit better. I'm grateful. I'm going to be staying in a grateful state of mind. Staying focused. I am losing weight. I'm working hard. And from working hard at um, Walmart, I'm trying to be a, a good employee. And I'm trying to do my best working hard. With all that movement I've been doing, and I, this ain't a sit-down position. This is not a sit-on-your-ass position. This is actually work. Hard, well-earned work, and I earned that check. It feels good to earn, earn money. It really is. I think I've lost a lot because because of all the work I put in my body, so the exhaustion. It was well worth that first check, and hopefully, if I can keep this up, maybe in the future I can transfer to the other Walmart. I just want to do better. There's things I want to see, do, accomplish. Hopefully, if I can, if I could be funny, I mean, come on. Making people laugh. It makes my day, you know? You know? Darn it, I watch Naruto too much. Oh well. <laughs> <sighs> It's worth it. Every sweat, every tear I cry, every pain I go through, it's going to be worth it. It's an emotional ride to lose weight as well. It's not just a physical thing, it's a mental thing as well. Mental health is like everything. You have to balance everything, and that's not easy. So give some credit what credit's do. I know sometimes I can come off. A certain way I'm grateful but I am grateful and I appreciate and I have every right to complain and let things out when I need to I am human and I think I'm going I think that lets me know that <sighs> makes me understand people have to have room to complain people can complain if they want to it helps us release pent up energy and it's a lot better off and we are a lot better off for it 
we can't just be happy 24 7. sometimes we need we need to cry we need to let things out hit something I like to still think the good in people. And my feelings have not changed. And they're not going to. I just need to slow my roll a little bit. Enjoy this time. I am working on myself in the process, but I'm not giving myself time. I'm just pushing myself harder and harder. And I'm not pushing anyone else. At least I'm not trying to push anyone else. I think I push myself harder than I do anyone else, to be honest. Because I expect more out of myself than I do from other people. I guess it's the way I was raised. It's just something that you cannot just quickly get over how you were raised. Emotional abuse is not funny, nor is it, nor is it easy to get over. Depression, I, to be honest, I put up with verbal abuse for 29 years. Being nice to people, 29 years, without anyone knowing what's going on with me. I've held that in. People need to realize. I held that in for that long. Of course I'm going to have some breakdowns every now and then. That's why I'm a big supporter of people letting stuff out and talking. Communicating. Because it helps. Trust me. It really does help. It's a beautiful day today. And it's gonna get better. Positive. Yeah, I'm chunky. But there are worse things to be, like asshole holes or other things. You can name them. I say there's worse. Worse things in life than to be a little chunky. At least with weight I could lose it. It's just with someone with their personality, that's something you can't change. You know? You know? <sighs> what a beautiful night. Come on. Be happy. Cowboy, take me away. Closer to you. <sighs> yeah, there's things that I talked to. I ran to an old friend's mother. And I got a lot off my chest there, even though I was working. But I kept positive. It may start out a negative story, but you always find a positive out of something negative. And I'm not, I'm not a perfect person. Trust me, I may post quotes and stuff, but I try to leave personal life off, off Twitter, off Facebook, off Instagram as much as I can. I may post hints as to how I'm feeling. Like earlier, I was chilly and I got I got warm but up. And I'm hot natured. So that's a that's right that's kinda weird. But the thing is, life is like this. It's tough. For those who feel so deeply. But at the same time. We have to toughen up. This world's not going to. Give us stuff. We got to earn it. 
and I'm not perfect in a lot of ways. So what? Imperfection is the new perfection. I'm keeping that in mind. I accept people for who they are. I don't be a bitch to anyone unless they are to me. And then I can get that way if I... Mm, well, I can ignore what they do to me. Let's put that. But if they do something to the people I love and care about, yeah. You're going to see me turn heel. Pretty much quick. <sighs> My feelings have not changed. I'm loyal to a fault. But I don't think that's a fault at all. There's not a lot of people that are, go out of the way to be loyal. Not many at all. And yes, yeah, 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 I'm big. But I'm strong. I'm capable. And I can kick some ass if I needed to. But I don't threaten people. That's just not my way. I like I like hard work. It actually it's it takes my mind off of stuff too. Even the, after work, I'm so tired. I'm going to get so emotional after I work too. But you know what? Right now. I may not like where I live now. It doesn't mean I'll be here forever. I just gotta put up with shit until I... Until I can leave. And sometimes... There's some things I could take a lot better than this. Some things I could take, some I can't. Just like every normal person, human being. I ain't a saint. I'm not the smartest person in the room. But I'm not the dumbest. And I can get feisty. But I don't like fighting. If I... If I can ignore... If... Like I said, the only time I'm willing to fight is if I have no other choice. If my back's against the corner, up against the wall, that's the only time where it's acceptable for self-defense. I believe in self-defense. <sighs> Today is a lot better. I got things off my chest, talked to the people I loved. I love everything I have right now. And sometimes that's enough. And listening. Sometimes all one needs is someone to understand and listen. I'm a simple person. Yeah. Loyalty should be, like, obviously one of those traits to find in somebody, yes. And what I consider wonderful is not perfect by any means, but as long as you help me and you make me laugh when I need to, that's enough. That's more than enough. Especially time out of your day. That's, I appreciate everything. With all my heart. 
and I'm that way. Excuse me. Oof. It's beautiful out here. A beautiful breeze. <sighs> mm, nature is so beautiful. I hate that. I hate that we're screwing up, screwing it up. It isn't just nature. It's going against human race too. It's a human race issue. And sadly, people. People will believe whatever they want to believe, whether it's the truth or not. That's the way it is. But the positive note, maybe we can reach some reasonable people. Which, there are reasonable people out there. And I love when there's reasonable people you can actually talk to. I do, I do love fashion, and I found that one dress I posted on Instagram that I loved, and wedding dresses, but it doesn't mean, it. I would like something that's, <laughs> as a mixture of comfort, because I'm not going to wear, wear heels. They're better off as weapons. They're better off as weapons than anything else. Especially when women get mad, they throw them. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, anyone who uses someone to get someone jealous, that's worse. That's mental abuse right there. You don't know, I don't, I don't think a lot of people understand how much that hurts a woman, mentally. Mental, it's hurtful. Emotional intelligence needs to be there, at some level. But there should be trust, as well, and let go. I don't, I'm not the controlling I'm trying not to be controlling. That's why I'm not assuming a lot of stuff that I used to do. I'm changing. I'm growing. I think it's worse than hell to have someone go and hide behind a fake account and attack people. That's cowardly. If you don't like them, you don't have to like the person. You really don't. If you don't like them, don't follow, follow them or comment stuff that's hurtful or abusive. That's uh, bullying. It takes years and years to get over bullying and sometimes you don't even get over it. Emotional trauma is not something to make fun of. <sighs> Comedians do need room to make fun of to get out of it the way they want to. But there are times where you can go too far. But some people do take things a little too seriously. Where's the balance? See, balance isn't very easy to find. I do. Uh... <sighs> oh, uh... Balance isn't. <laughs> and when has it that... One side's always right and one side's always wrong. There are some issues that 
one side is going to be wrong on. But there's always that some issues that I'm in the gray area on. Not it never is anything black and white. There's always gray areas and and things if you look at them. And there's always loopholes too. Watch out for those loopholes. They'll get you. They'll get you good. I just want people to be safe and happy too. But. At the same time. Don't betray those who trust you. Because. A person has their limits. Especially trusting individuals. And good hearted individuals do have their limits. Mentally. And emotionally too. And spiritual. And spiritual. I'm not going to name call. I'm not going to disrespect. This ain't towards anyone. This is talking about in general. So this isn't attacking anyone. If I like a comment about cheating being wrong, that means I agree with that. It is not towards anyone. If I like certain quo certain things, I don't know why I'm trying to explain to explain it. Some, yes, it's tailored to some, but the negative ones are not. Sometimes I agree with something I like it, and that's why I'm going to try to quit liking a lot of Instagram stuff. Other than, <laughs> because I think some people, I think, I think I know where misunderstandings happen right now is... People, this is why social media is so stupid sometimes. Because it's easy to get assumptions. It's easy to assume sh assume stuff that's not even that's not even been proven true. <sighs> I should get that book, like War, and read it because it's fascinating with the um. With the inserts that um, a certain somebody posted on his Twitter, from what I read, I got really interested in it. I'm going to finish this Booker book, and I'm going to I'm going to try to get through the um, Bill Nye book before before I buy any more books. I have a tendency to buy books and just forget to read them for a good bit. I used to love to collect them. I loved book fairs growing up. There's like, I've always loved book fairs. I used to love to read a lot more. And I found a good reason to love it again. Because you get to learn more about people. And I love autobiographies. Or non-fiction. And some fiction. Some sci-fi I like too. But. I like to learn about people. I'm interested in learning about people. Just who I am. The only reason I didn't finish this Chuck Norris book. My mom. <laughs> took the book away. And read it. And lost my place. Yeah, that's some things that irritate me right there. <sighs> At least let me finish the book first. Have patience, people. <sighs> okay, I'm an adult. I have a mind of my own, and I'm going to make it. I've already made it up. I'm not changing my mind. I've only m made my mind up. It's I try to get along with people while I'm here. 
And sometimes I just can't because be a Democrat in a mainly Republican state sucks. Especially the only Democrat in the family. It sucks. To see my face. I'm not amused. It sucks. And I'm not good with explaining myself at all. I'm more of a logical person than I am good at explaining or writing. And it gets so frustrating sometimes to try to explain myself. Because it's so hard for me to get the words out. To get to explain myself or anything. Especially to people who are, who don't listen. They already have plans for you. I fought this ever since I was 18. I begged to do chores. But if I put one of them in a hospital because of something I did, that will kill me. But I'm at the point now that I don't care. Not anymore. And once I go permanently, I think I'll be happier and free. I just need space. Space from them. I feel smothered, and I hate it. And I sacrifice so much for them, and they don't. They don't know how much I sacrificed myself. They don't care. They throw it everything in my face, everything in the book. They, this is why I'm hard on Christians because growing up in the evangelical, growing up in the evangelical, Baptist group, whatever you call it, whatchamacallit, I realized a lot of them are hypocrites. But there's some good ones that don't judge no matter what you do. Those are the good ones. Those are rare. They are rare and they are out there. But with my family... Here's one thing I will tell on on my mom. She'll act nice to your face, but she'll talk trash behind your back. That's the kind of woman she actually is. And I'm being serious. This ain't a lie. This isn't gossip. It's the truth. I've experienced it and caught her in it myself. She will tell lies on you. That's why I can't open up to them about everything. That's why I have to keep a lot of it to myself. What's happening, what my plans are. Because they don't agree with them. But I will fight. And trust me, they can't overpower me now. But the psychological trauma is still there growing up. And trust me, they were... They weren't really good at keeping up with me and my niece. There are times when we could have died. I drank gas when I was little, man. That's the thing. And it's... I do want a better life because emotionally I can't handle being here.
not in this state because I don't feel like I belong here. I've always felt that way. I just try to make it better. My feelings have not changed. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to end out in this video out. I'm going to enjoy this pretty day. And I'm going to go on that trip. And I'm going to enjoy it no matter what. Because this girl deserves to have a vacation for once in her life. If someone forbids me to come back, I may listen. I may listen. Because I'm almost up to here. Like past my head. Full of arguing and fighting. All the negativity here. I grew up in all that. It's enough. And... <sighs> Reach. I don't mind retail. I really don't. It's the stuff that comes on at home that I can't deal with. I'm good to customers. I can handle customers. I can handle strangers. Here at home, I've had enough of it. So, tan this off. Let's do our best to do the work. Be happy. And I'm earning this trip. And I'm going to take it. Even though it's my first flight and I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I could do this. Believe in yourself. You could do this. Let's be happy and smile. Ciao for now.